What's going on guys? Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. Another day and another pump for the entire Pulse Chain ecosystem. As we look deeper into what is going on over at Pulse Chain, what is going on with Richard Hart now tweeting again, and why do we think Pulse Chain, PulseX, and Hex continue to melt through like a knife through butter? All these various price levels that we talked about just a few days ago. A few days ago, I told you that the continuation of these prices would be happening. I put out various target levels, and I said that PLS would continue. PLSX would continue to outperform. So let's dive deeper. All right, we look here on the 24 hour, green everywhere. Hex is down 4.8%. Hex is the one that I don't really own. Now, that might crucify me, Hex. I have admitted a very long time I miss out on Hex. That's what got me into the Pulse Chain ecosystem, into sacrificing in the Pulse Chain at the earliest possible rate, getting the biggest possible bonus. That's what got me into the farms on PulseX at the day one launch. And that is what has kept me within this ecosystem, finding alpha through various altcoins and projecting starting in mid-October, which will go over, that PulseX would start outperforming PLS. That's why we were making that rotation heavy into PulseX. That is what has happened, and that is where we came from. So, seven days out. Same thing continues all green, but let's look at 30 days. PLS up a staggering 134%. PLSX up 237%, almost doubling Pulse PLS's uh, performance while burning 658 billion PLSX. Now, these aren't just burns, people. Based on the trading activity that happens on the PulseX decentralized exchange, a percentage of those trading fees are used to buy back and then burn this PLSX. That is why it is outperforming. That is why I think it continue will continue to outperform PLS at least until this gets to sacrifice price, which is at 0 0.0001. Till we get there, I think PLSX continues to outperform PLS. INC up 288% off the lows and HEX up 96.8%. Let's look at the charts. I started talking about uh, PLSX outperformance here, October 19th, October 18th. If we go to the charts, let's see how accurate I was. Let's look at where October 18th was. Here is October 18th. Here's the ratio. We outperformed. We did come back down, but we retested the same level. We never went below, never went meaningfully below this ratio. And then, boom. So my prediction has been accurate. I think that this outperformance can continue until PLSX gets to sacrifice price. Where is sacrifice price from here? Where is sacrifice price from here? We still have something like another 80% until sacrifice price, I believe. A little bit of a dip here. Sacrifice price up here. We have 92% until sacrifice price. If we zoom out, not much of resistance until then last video i did on here some warning of a bearish divergence that could form unless price continued to surge it did so you can move it here we do still see a bearish divergence forming but we'll talk about why i don't know if that's going to come i mean richard hart or the god whale or the oa wallet is deploying millions and millions of dollars from ethereum in the form of stable coins usdt usdc and die Bridging it to Pulse Chain and simply buying PLS, buying PLSX, and buying INC and buying HEX. Just deploying funds, deploying funds, deploying funds. So when does this Magic Carpet Ride end? I don't know. Or has the Magic Carpet Ride even started? That's the real question. We see that we broke through this uh, resistance level here. Back tested on it, which is perfect. We're seeing some consolidation. As long as you remain above that, we can, we'll continue to go through here. We'll break through, consolidate, break through, consolidate, break through, consolidate. These are the levels I'm looking for. And I think your portfolio should be heavy on PLSX until we get to the sacrifice price. I do believe PLSX will outperform at least until that happens. Just the token economics make a lot of sense. The underpricing of the sac rate uh, leads me to believe that. And what we're already seeing from the OA wallet, the God Whale wallet, leads me to believe that as well. They're kind of buying everything in unison, and PLSX is outperforming PLS by almost double, by about 70%. So I think that trend continues if everything kind of stays in place. We're also seeing on uh, Twitter, people are finally waking up to this PLSX uh, tokenomics, the buyback, the burn, the, the trading, the owning of the casino by owning the DEX token. 
There is no more inflation, guys. All the tokens are circulating. There is only deflation. There is no VCs. It's all sacrifice sacrificers that are in it. We shook out a lot of the weak hands with the SEC drop and this this uh, consolidation as well. And uh, we're riding this magic carpet ride. We'll see where we go. Again, here are kind of the levels we are looking at. Now, another reason that I think PLS and all these can continue to rise. Here's the PLS chart. Every dip is being eaten up. We're going through these levels. Look, broke out of the level, retest. Broke out of the level, retest. And uh, the next level is all the way up here. 1647, quite a bit ways up higher. The reason I think this trend can continue is if we look over here, look what Richard Hart just tweeted today. Haters, if you weren't broke, you could short the coins I founded. Hex, PLS, and PLSX. And if you don't have the balls to short, maybe it's a sign you should buy. Now, what is this doing? A, is enticing people to go short. You think he's going to let the shorts win when he's saying stuff publicly like this? No. Any sell-off, he's going to be buying up that dip. Whether it's him, the Godwell, OA, New Bridgers, the diehard believers. I just don't think we're going to get any meaningful drop in the short term, especially with this tweet being put out there. Also, what he's trying to do is get people to load up on shorts. He then buys it up. They get close to getting liquidated. And guess what they got to do? They got to cover their shorts, which does what? Further juices the rally. Let's that rocket ship keep going. Let's the magic carpet ride continue to explode. He's enticing the shorts here. If they fall for it, he's going to continue pumping the bags. They're going to get short squeezed. Price goes even higher, even faster. And guess what happens? More trading fees, fees are accrued. More PLSX is bought. More PLSX is burnt. And the price continues to outpace the rest of the market. That's how I see it. That is what I am thinking. So far, it has been a hell of a ride. We are now one point, we are 32% above the PLS sacrifice price, just like that. We do have farms on P Pulse X. If single-sided staking comes anytime soon, that is going to juice this even more. Single-sided staking is where you're going to be able to stake your PLSX and possibly your INC to earn other tokens. If that comes anytime soon, my projections for outperformance far exceed when PLSX gets back to sacrifice price. My portfolio right now is heavily weighted in PLSX since October 18th when I told you guys to do that. That has been working out very well. I do still have a PLS position and then I do have a PTGC position as well. You can see the two buys here. Currently up 171% plus reflection rewards and airdrops and the newest buy just happened on January 4th. Currently up 211% plus reflections plus airdrops. If you don't know about this cryptocurrency, essentially... Um, the performance of PLS drives us higher. There's about 8.5% of the total supply already burnt, 8% locked in liquidity, 30% locked in staking. I mean, crazy numbers, uh, and all the tokens are out there. So deflationary uh, buybacks and burns are accruing. Just for holding, you get reflections. If you stake, you get reflections plus staking rewards, all paid out in PTGC. And guess what? It has liquidity pairs with the likes of Teddy Bear. So if this thing goes higher, it goes higher. It has pairs with... Uh, PLS, it has pairs with PLSX, it has pairs with the Tropa, 808, and all of those. So when any of these altcoins are going higher, it is continuing to outperform. So I'd say my portfolio, if I was to guess right now without running the numbers, probably looks something like, I would say, 60 to 70% in PLSX, 20% in PLS, and that leaves about 10% for PTGC, which is performing amazing. The reflections are amazing. And it's still a relatively low market cap. What are we looking at? 6.24 million compared to the likes of Teddy Bear, which is 19 million. And the new Blast token, I think, is 12 or 13 million. Here's Blast, 12 million. So that's the one I'm going with. That's what the portfolio looks like. And that is my outlook here on Pulse Chain. It's really hard to believe that we get any kind of meaningful drop. Just with what Richard Hart is saying, enticing the shorts. If people do short, he's going to pump it. They're going to have to cover their shorts. It's going to continue to pump. We have PLSX closing in on the sacrifice rate. Needs another 80 to 90% out of that. And I think that PLSX buy and burn. 658, guys. 658 billion burned. Over $33 million worth of uh, stable coins used to buy back those tokens will continue to make this outperformance plus 231 percent versus plus 132 percent that's amazing this outperformance is going to start enticing people to add more to the farms as the apr is going to continue to increase and then hopefully if single-sided staking comes holy cow guys you need to be in plsx that's where your money needs to be in my opinion